Today we're going to be talking about my personal favourite case. Oh, Try you sick bitch. <laughs> 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 no, but this is the serial killer that sparked my interest in like true crime as a whole. Oh, oh so, nice. Here we go. That's cute. We've got a big one. Buckle up, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be talking about H.H. H. Holmes, who was a serial killer in the 1890s, and he claimed to have had over 200 victims. Fuck. Whoa. Brag. Uh, he didn't fuck about. <laughs> <Humble> brag, <there. laughs> And H.H. H. Holmes is famous for having the murder castle or the murder hotel. Oh, I know him. Do you? Oh, what a man. American the, Horror Story. In this sense, yeah. yeah. He's fucking nuts. I don't know if I know it, so I'm kind of... American Horror Story. And also they did say they were going to do a film about it with DiCaprio was going to play him. And then oh, yeah, I think yeah. it might have all gone to shit because I haven't heard anything since. Yeah. But yeah, very good. But I don't know much about it, so good. I'm excited for this one. <laughs> so, yeah, the story starts... Herman Webster Mudgett was his real name, which is obviously a bit of a shit name. So what was he, it, sorry? Herman Webster Mudgett. Mudgett. Yeah, I mean, it is a shit Fierce. name, but I wouldn't say it to his face. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, later in life, he changed that to H.H. H. Holmes, which let him get away with a number of different aliases because he could make up what the H's stood for. Mm. Right. So he had a million different names. Yeah. Um, and all the way through school, he was pretty badly bullied. Um, and the bullies knew exactly how to get to this guy. He had a really bad fear of like doctors and medical stuff and everything like that so one day these bullies took him down to the local doctor's office and forced him to stand in front of a skeleton like a real human skeleton and just stare at it and he was hyperventilating he was stressed out screaming whatever and then he went really quiet and they were like oh my god it's really getting to him so they held him there but what they didn't realize was that hh H. holmes was now fascinated by this skeleton like the fear had gone and this kind of sick interest came over him and he was like looking at the body and he was like right okay i want one of those oh so i just got chills so yeah. yeah he was weirdly interested in human anatomy and everything all his life and of course he went to medical school and while he was there he made like best friends with his professor who gave who obviously had the keys and access and everything to the cadavers like the bodies that mm. they all practice on yeah and one day these started going missing <laughs> and turns out that he was actually stealing them, H.H. H. Holmes, and mutilating them and then taking out fake life insurance policies on them. So he wasn't killing them, but he was doing all his gross stuff to him. And he was getting big, big payouts for this. And uh, how, what? So he, how was he getting the payout if he wasn't killing them? <clears throat> well, this was back in the 1800s. So right. there was no way to prove anything, really. So he would say, like, oh... This is my uncle something. He died in a freak accident and like his face would be so mutilated that they mm. couldn't tell who Couldn't the hell it was. Fine. And they were like, oh, his uncle's just died. We need to just give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, right. It was really easy to get away with stuff like that back in the day. That was his main like profession. Right. Um. So, yeah, he did that for a while, made enough money to buy a big plot of land in Chicago and there he began building what is called the murder castle. Mm. Now, this is like my favorite bit of the case. So the bottom floor of the murder castle was just shops. It had like a barber's, a jewellery shop, stuff like that to make it seem really normal. Like nothing was going on above it. So people would visit this castle, would they? It's a hotel. Oh. Mm, but it's not. A lot of people think it's a hotel. So the bottom floor was shops. The top, The second floor was hotel. But... Those were quotation marks. It was not a hotel. So it was never advertised as a hotel. He would go and get people on the street and be like, oh, do you want to come and stay at my hotel? But like only like three, four of the rooms had beds in. So that whole second floor was what he turned into his murder castle. And the third floor was going to be the murder castle as well, but he never finished that. So the second floor had around 38 rooms, I think it was. And each one of these rooms had a different method of killing in it. So there were like suffocation chambers that were like the size of a human body that he would lock them in until they ran out of oxygen. There were little cupboards that had like spikes in the door. So when he shut the door, the spikes went through them. There were gas chambers. There was one particular room that had like big iron plates in the walls and he would light, um, what are they called? Not Bunsen burners. <laughs> what are they called? Candles. What? No, blow torches. Oh, right. Candles, yes. Mm -hmm. He would light those behind the iron things the until up. it turned into like a huge oven and he would cook people alive. He wouldn't eat them though. I think that's oh, one thing what, that this guy did. <laughs> yeah. um, Consider it. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking mental. How have I not heard about that? I know, it's crazy, man. It's mm. fucking insane. 
Yeah, there's it, that's this is a really famous case to be fair. Is it? Yeah. It sounds like it would be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got a murder castle. Yeah. 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 Did he ever get anyone to help? Was it just always? So the builders that he would draft in to make this whole thing, they would build a few rooms. So they'd be like rooms with no doors and mm. windows, and like you would fall into it from a trap door. Yeah. So obviously you're gonna get suspicious building that. So yeah. like. As soon as they would get a little bit suspicious, he'd be like, oh, you've breached a contract, like, and fire yeah. them for no yeah. reason, but he'd come up with a reason and then draft new ones in. Wow. So, yeah. So what? And you said that they they based someone from American Horror Story. Yeah, they yeah, adapted there's it. there's one on called there. American Horror Story Hotel. And yeah. um, the one everyone fancies from American Horror Story Evan is... Peters. Yeah, Evan Peters yeah. is Holmes, H.H. H. Holmes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What did yeah. he look like? Oh, he was ugly. Was he? Yeah, little mustache, bald head. He oh. was a very short man as well. What and the, and oh, uh, they're always short, aren't yeah. they? Manson. Manson. He was really yeah. short, wasn't he? Yeah. Midget, the midget. Oh yeah, is that what they called him? Probably. You got it, haven't you? Well, you haven't got to. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> bullies. Oh. But yeah, in this murder castle, the whole basement of it as well would be where he would dispose of the bodies. So he had shoots all over the murder castle where he'd like throw the bodies down and they would go straight down to the basement. And he had like acid baths, dissection tables, and he would like skin them and take all the muscle and all the organs away and then sell those skeletons to medical practices. Wow. Mm. Entrepreneurial. For someone that was fucking petrified of them to begin with, that's yeah. a that's a one eight. Shows yeah, it can yeah. just it can just flip. So you yeah, think it was like when Batman. he was forced to look at the skeleton that yeah. it, it all triggered. Yeah. So how mm. was he caught? Um he was actually caught for one of his like fake insurance schemes. And <laughs> he went to prison and they were like, Right, give us all this money back that you've got unjustly mm. that's the word yeah um, and he obviously wouldn't give the money back so they went and started searching his properties mm. they go to this murder castle and they're like what have you been doing here then wow <laughs> <laughs> imagine trying to get yourself out of that one yeah <laughs> you got a... well that's just my big oven room <laughs> yeah. yeah I like yeah. to cook that's my big st- uh, spike room yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they always get caught for really random things that's nothing to do yeah. with like yeah. the murder imagine, imagine that though he's in prison and, like, what are you in for insurance fraud they're always an easy target oh you <laughs> well you got 80 wrong. life sentences mate <laughs> yeah. oh it was a bit messy <laughs> yeah. yeah oh fuck me and what and they said there was 200 yeah he says that there was, well, he said, he's long gone. Yeah. But he said that there was over 200 victims, but police believe there to be like just over 10. Because the way that he would get people was like lure them in and like use the hotel, but there was two only, for one. There weren't that many beds. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he'd just like kill people. But a lot of the ones that he would kill he, were like workers in the shops. So he'd bring people in to work in the shops, employ them, and then put them on his life insurance policy. Because it was like you had to do that to be able to work there, then kill them, and then he's getting money as well. Surely, that's money. suspicious, mm. isn't it? Yeah, but yeah. Then he's Fox. just all people Why is dying everyone... around him. Like, <laughs> you know, seems like everyone who works for you dies. Uh, yeah, <laughs> How, so then he would have had to prove the bodies were somewhere though. In those cases, yeah, but it's back in the day, and everything yeah. was a yeah. bit sort of. I can see why he went wild west for that. of insurance. Well, a lot of them do hype up the numbers, don't they, as well? Oh, yeah. like, you got to, aren't you, really? Mm. Oh, yeah. Some of them go yeah, back. Yeah, Ted Bundy yeah. said way less in the end, didn't he? Did he? Or he? Well, he didn't want to admit to it at all, did he, until like, the day of uh, his hack, death. But, yeah. Hacks or... They know of like a certain amount, but they think there were more that were just never discovered. Really? Because he was quite weird. His ashes, he asked for his ashes to be disposed in the same places where he left parts of bodies. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so they actually have scattered his ashes... In what? the same place he left parts of bodies. No, I think he was put in the ocean. I don't think they were going to go through with that. Oh. oh well. Yeah, imagine. Why he would they do that. that? He definitely wanted I thought that, you but still I think they scattered you... him at, ski, oh. at sea. I thought you still kind of get what you want at the end. No, not, not, yeah. if, it's, yeah, not if it's like disrespectful. You get a nice meal. Yeah. And then, not saying I want to, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, he, wow. yeah, he's, he's one of the creepier ones. H.H. Holmes. H.H. Holmes. 